the MDI, which we call the uh, Management Development Institute, uh, started way back in 2006, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's why we are celebrating 10 years now. And uh, I remember uh, vividly that uh, uh, a gentleman from uh, uh, UCLA uh, dropped in this office and uh, uh, talked to me about uh, this program. <coughs> and then uh, uh, after that I said it is a good program. Uh, it's a program that I think is important because of uh, various reasons. And uh, then he left. And after that, after a year or so, he came back and said, I think we should continue the discussion we started some time back on uh, training of health leadership in management, leadership, and governance in Africa. And from then on, we have uh, uh, done training uh, initially for HIV AIDS managers and uh, later for all health uh, uh, health program managers across the continent. And so far, I think we have trained almost a thousand. I think there is, the figure is 972 uh, health managers who have been trained uh, from 32, 32 countries of Africa. What we have seen is we have been able to turn uh, such good professionals into leaders as well. And what uh, uh, has been uh, most significant is to bring in these very well uh, uh, trained doctors, made them into leaders, and our observation is uh, the kind of work they have done to transform the organizations that they lead. An example is Nairobi Women's Hospital. We trained uh, Dr. Thenya for uh, the in MDI for, uh, for, uh, for I think, uh, six days. And uh, since that, he himself has told us that the transformation that this made has made the whole transformation of Nairobi Women's Hospital. That is the kind of uh, uh, impact that uh, this pro uh, program has. Uh, the challenge is uh, particularly in the implementation uh, because uh, we have one very, very core practical aspect of this program. We call it the Community uh, Health Initiative or CHIPS, uh, CHIPS is uh, the, the acronym for it. And uh, people come up with uh, such great uh, ideas, uh, great proposals, concepts. But when they go back, they, they are not always able to attract the kind of support they need to implement the good ideas. Mm -hmm. That for me has been very, very challenging. The other ch uh, challenge that I see is uh, uh, the lack of a platform where the alumni get to, uh, to, to meet and share their experiences. Mm -hmm. I think this would go a long, long way uh, to keeping uh, the alumni uh, who are learning from each other and also learning from the faculty and the institutions that uh, have uh, had the responsibility of training them. We have to rethink uh, uh, the MDI. Uh, right now we have done a thousand uh, health managers. Uh, what, what is there for them? We have to think about the 1,000 first and foremost. What, what else can we do for them? Uh, follow-ups must be, of course, in place, uh, supporting them with their uh, chips and their new ideas that they'll be developing. And at the same time, we would like uh, to have an advanced MDI. Will it be one month? I'm not sure. Or will it be a diploma in leadership and management? I would like it to be a master's degree in leadership and management, not the ordinary MBAs, that are all over the place, but a specialized M uh, MBA uh, in health. 
that looks at the concepts that have been grown through the MDI. I wish to appreciate the contributions of the many people who were behind the design and the implementation of the MDI program. Our first uh, Victor Tabuch of UCLA, Mr. Conrad, uh, our person of JNJ, uh, &J, uh, Mr. Rennie of JNJ, &J, uh, Dr. Nzomo of AMREF, and the very many people who worked with us as faculty, as managers, as administrators of the MDI, because these are the people that made it happen over the years. Thank you one and all.